this man shared a photo of five little pups then somebody realized they weren't what they seemed as he logged on to Facebook Craig McGettrick's thoughts no doubt turned to the little puppies that he'd found in the trash who could have abandoned such helpless animals he may have wondered but as he looked at his message alerts he had an even bigger surprise after all if the comments were right the animals that he would discovered weren't puppies at all McGettrick lives near Liverpool in the United Kingdom where he works as a mover in fact he was on a job with a co-worker in March of 2017 when they made the shocking discovery the workers were clearing trash from the debris filled yard when they shifted a discarded mattress but to McGettrick's surprise it wasn't just more garbage they found underneath the bedding no something was alive under there five little somethings to be precise yes the pair had uncovered a litter of baby animals indeed the creatures were so young that the movers couldn't work out exactly what they were McGettrick assumed they were either kittens or puppies and he decided that the latter was the more likely option those were probably the only two options I knew of McGettrick told the dodo in April of 2017 we thought somebody dumped them knowing we were going to remove rubbish but the movers couldn't bear to leave the helpless little puppers so they decided to save their lives McGettrick bundled up his uncovered treasures and put them safely in a box for transport he thought the best place for them would be a local animal rescue shelter that being the case he dropped them off and posted their photos up on social media at first McGettrick had no reason to think anything was amiss with the babies they looked a little unusual sure but the initial Facebook comments seemed to agree that they were indeed puppies someone else suspected otherwise however and asked some experts for their opinion on the matter yes a member of the public sent the puppy pictures to the National Fox Welfare Society NFWS we were contacted by a lovely lady called Becky through our Facebook page NFWS posted on Facebook in March of 2017 it was then that the puppies were correctly identified Becky had sent a few photos asking if the babies in the photos were indeed Fox Cubs we confirmed they certainly were the NFWS post continued the NFWS is an organization with more than 20 years under its belt so if anyone was in a position to recognize baby foxes its experts were the NFWS is a voluntary group that's committed itself to helping sick and wounded foxes across the UK not only does the organization treat wild foxes but it also has facilities for those that can't be rehabilitated the charity was clearly the best hope then for assisting McGettrick's Fox pups Becky advised us that they've been taken to a rescue center in Liverpool mistakenly as puppies not Fox Cubs the NFWS explained because the pups were so young it was actually an easy mistake to make after all Fox babies don't develop their distinguishing red fur until they're older the trash filled yard where the Fox family was found had most likely been acting as their home furthermore it's not unusual for Fox cubs to be left alone in their dens when their mothers go out hunting so it's not surprising that McGettrick had thought the cubs were abandoned puppies in any event the NFWS had to act quickly to return the cubs before their mother moved on luckily Becky managed to get a hold of numbers for both McGettrick and the animal shelter holding the cubs meanwhile the NFWS was already getting assistance from a local Fox rescuer Paul McDonald Liverpool resident McDonald nicknamed the Fox man works for fresh fields animal rescue he was happy to help too and agreed to take the Cubs back to their mother the NFWS also contacted the animal shelter that was looking after the puppies and arranged for their collection with permission from property owner Karen McDonald took the pups back to their yard the very same day apparently the mother had already been out looking for her babies but the fox man was no stranger to vixen behavior as he explained to the dodo I didn't give the cubs any milk in order for them to be hungry so they would cry out and call for their mom which they did they were put around the same place they were found I knew the mom would be checking the place she'd last had them explained McDonald the babies were bundled up in a cardboard box with a hot water bottle to keep them cozy then it was simply a matter of waiting for the mommy fox to continue her search and just over an hour later the vixen reappeared and found her cubs initially the mother only took one cub and it seemed that she may have rejected the others over the two hours that followed though the vixen came back by 701 p.m. Paul texted me a photo of the empty box NFWS posted on Facebook all through this I was letting Becky and Craig know NFWS wrote and everyone was so pleased that the Cubs were back where they belonged with mom Special thanks to Becky, Craig, and Karen for their invaluable help and the Animal Sanctuary for agreeing to pass the Cubs on. Also, thanks to Paul and his team for collecting the Cubs and sitting patiently with hearts and mouths 
waiting for the vixen to return the post continued the story was only possible because every person mentioned above it really is heartwarming to know that this combined teamwork reunited five fox cubs with their vixen mother well done everyone and thank you